over here. So Sukhasana, easy, comfortable seats, the place where we always start, typically, especially from home because it's a place of comfort. So just sit up nice and tall, bring your hands to your knees, up to receiver, down to ground. That's totally your choice here. And make sure that your legs, you want them either cross-legged or you can sit up, you know, you can sit knees over heels, hips over heels, whatever's comfortable. So just find some type of variation here. Lift your shoulders up towards your ears, let them roll down your spine, close your eyes, chin is level with the earth. Just allowing your body to just be. It's eight o'clock in the morning. For some of you, you may have just woke up. For some of you, you may have just finished work. For others, you may have just been running around for a little bit. So take a second right now to slow it down, to stop everything, to reflect. Maybe set an intention or a goal for this practice. Find your Ujjayi Pranayama, so your breath right now, your breath is what pairs your movement, the entire vinyasa practice. So check in with your breathing at this time, making sure you're aware of it. Inhale together. And exhale. Just breathe. Inhale one more. Exhale, let it go. Inhale your hands high to the sky and then just take a little bit of a twist. So right arm outside of the left or left arm outside of the right leg, right hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall and use your fingertips. Look over your right shoulder and twist. And then come on back to center. Inhale your hands up nice and high. Switch sides. Right hand outside of the left knee. Left hand behind you. Sit up nice and tall. Twist. And then come on back to center. Inhale your arms up. And then exhale, just drop them in front of you. All we're gonna do is a simple forward fold. So just dropping your head, walking your fingertips out as much as you are able to here. So really trying to get long. And then coming back up, all you're gonna do right now is switch your legs. So whatever leg was on top, go ahead and bring it on the bottom. And then inhale your arms back up to center and then reach them forward one more time. So this will get into the other hip just a little bit more. So again, dropping your head, reaching forward, lengthening. And then when you're ready, slowly come on up. So let's shift onto our hands and our knees into our tabletop. And then we're gonna take it to our child's pose. So knees wide to the width of your mat. Butt sits back to connect to your heels. Reach your arms forward. Let your forehead drop to the earth. Extended child's pose. So a place of rest here. This is another place that we can start our practice. And it's also the place that if any of you need to take a break during this class, maybe for a minute, for five minutes, However long, it doesn't matter to me, it never does. You can always come to this position. You can stay here for as long as you need to. And then just rejoin us back in the practice whenever you're ready. Inhale, breath in. And exhale, breath out. Inhale, breath in. And exhale, breath out. Inhale again. And exhale, let it go. Now take your right arm high to the sky, bring it underneath the left arm, thread the needle, open up the shoulder. So gently resting on your right cheek here, just reaching your arms for opposite directions, feeling the stretch. Like I said, today is gonna be a slow flow. We're gonna stretch a lot. So if you are sore, this will be a very good class for you. Come on back to center, child's pose. 
When you're ready, lift your left arm up high to the sky. Take it underneath the right arm. Thread the needle. Open up the shoulders. So same thing here. Reaching that right arm forward. Reaching that left arm over. Just breathe. Take one more breath. And then slowly come back to your child's pose. Inhale together. Exhale together. One more, inhale, breath in. And exhale, breath out. Slowly pulling yourselves all the way up back to your tabletop. Let's take a couple cat-cow. So let's warm and move our spine. So inhale, drop your belly, gaze lifts for cow. And then exhale, round your spine, press the earth away, bring your chin in towards your chest for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. Inhale for cow. Exhale for cat. One more, inhale cow. Exhale, cat. Slowly coming back to your neutral spine, we're gonna take puppy pose. So watching my hips, your hips stay exactly where they are. Your upper body comes down. You gently rest onto your forehead if you're a beginner, or your chin if you're a little bit more advanced. You should feel a much deeper opening in the upper body. This is kind of like your child's pose, but your hips are up in the air. So feeling the sensation in both arms, in the upper back, mid back, just breathe here. Be okay with this spot. One more breath. And then exhale, let it go. Slowly coming back up to your table. Nice work. All right. Tabletop position. Inhale for a cow. Exhale for a cat. Come on back to your neutral spine. Let's kick our right leg back. Kick stand it so that we can kind of stretch out this thigh here for a moment. So keeping that leg there. Now taking your left arm, reaching it forward. So reaching the left arm forward, kicking the right leg back. And then when you're ready, lift the right leg up off the mat, lift the left arm as high as you can. I want you to lift both ends here. You're gonna activate your back muscles and squeeze up. When you're ready, bring your elbow to your knee, squeeze, extend. Elbow to your knee, squeeze. Extend, elbow to your knee, hold it and squeeze, and then extend it all the way out. Reach back for that foot and grab it if you can. If you can't, just reach back as far as you can go. If the foot is in hand, kick into that hand and lift it up as high as you can. So breathe here for five, for four, three, two, one, release. Inhale for a cow. And exhale for a cat. Come on back to your neutral spine. Kickstand your left leg back. Reach your right arm forward. Again, right arm reaches forward, left leg kicks back. If you can lift your left leg off the mat when you're ready, go ahead and lift it. Activate your back muscles. Now bring your elbow towards your knee, round your spine. Extend. Elbow towards your knee, round your spine. Extend. One more time. Elbow to your knee. Squeeze here. Extend, reach back, grab for that ankle. Kick into that hand if you can for three, two, one. Slowly come on back to your table. Inhale for a cow and exhale for a cat. Neutral spinal position. Curl your toes under, lift your hips. First downward facing dog. All right, we're here. So when you get here, Start to pedal out your feet as many times as you can. So just finding some movement. As you pedal, take your head, look side to side. So just opening and warming up your neck area as well. So everything is just kind of starting to become a little bit more fluid here. And then maybe settle into your practice. So settle into this down dog. So remember, feet are six inches apart. Your body's in the shape of a V. Just scan your whole body for your alignment. Make sure you're safe. Make sure you're doing it properly. Push into your hands so that your head is through your shoulders. 
lifting your hips higher, pressing your heels down more to the earth. Take a breath in, take a breath out. Inhale together and exhale together. Bring your big toes to touch. You're gonna let both heels fall to the right side of your mat. You should feel a stretch in the left side body. Keep pushing into your hands to lift your hips up towards the ceiling. And then switch, come on back to center. Let both heels fall to the left side of your mat. Again, keep pushing your hips up, feel the stretch in the right side body. And then come on back to center, keep your big toes touching. We're gonna lift our right leg up, bend the knee and open up our hip. So you should feel a stretch in the hip. We wanna try to stack the right hip over top of the left, so really opening it up. Now what we don't wanna open up is our shoulders, so square them off. Press your left heel down to your mat. Open your right hip more, lift your right knee higher to the sky. Strain your leg and drop it back down to the earth. Bring your big toes to touch, lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up your hip. Same thing, stack your hip, open. Press your right heel down to the earth, square your shoulders, lift your hip more, lift your knee more, and then strain your leg and drop it all the way back down, downward facing dog. Inhale together, exhale together. Breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Nice work. One more, inhale through your nose. And exhale, let it go. Straight leg walk, so as many steps as it takes you. I want you to straight leg walk all the way to the front of your mat. Grab opposite elbows, slight bend in the knee like mine. Fold forward for a rag doll. So allowing your upper body to just hang like dead weight. Pulling each elbow so that your chest melts onto your thighs. If you want to start to lock your knees, you can start to lock your knees. Maybe swaying from side to side. First forward fold of our practice. Drop your hands to the earth when you're ready. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. We're going to pause up here. So taking your hands overhead. Heel toe your feet to touch. So that means bring your feet and toes to touch. Interlace your fingers, release your index fingers, thumbs crossed. Inhale, reach up, try to touch the ceiling. And then taking your upper body over to the right, pushing your hips to the left. So Bikram half moon, we're just stretching out. So just a little bit of a stretch. And then come on back to center. Reach your arms up nice and high. Taking your Bikram half moon over to the left. So same thing, just a little bit of a stretch here over to the left, lengthening. And then take it back to center. Look back behind you, drop your head back, drop your upper body back, take a back bend. Push your chest up, lean back, go back as far back as you can. And then exhale, bring your hands to heart center and just fold all the way down. So allowing yourself to move nice and slow, feeling the spine get nice and long. Now inhale, halfway lift, and then exhale, drop your hands to the mat. Find your high plank or high push-up. So for this first one, everybody drop to your knees. So notice my body though, I'm not like this. I'm not at my table, right? I'm in like a slanted push-up. So this is where I wanna be. So we're here, we're gonna start to lower down for five, elbows back, elbows tight. Three, two, one, come all the way down to the earth. We're gonna take baby cobra. So upper body lifts up, look at my body. It's not an upward facing dog. I can lift my hands and be light. My upper body is doing all the work. My elbows are pulling towards my side and down towards my butt. Lift one more inch and then release, come all the way down. Do that one more time, baby cobra, strengthen the back, lift all the way up. Breathe in, lift up, get a little higher, and then come all the way down, nice work. Press into your hands, lift your hips first, and then bring your hips all the way back to your heels, stretch it out, and then curl your toes, find your downward facing dog. Inhale together, exhale together. Your practice becomes similar to like a dance with your breath. Inhale, breath in, and exhale, breath out. One more, inhale through your nose, and exhale through your mouth. 
Look at your hands. Straight leg walk all the way to the front of your mat. There's no rush. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Take a back bend here. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank, drop to your knees if you need to modify. Lower down five, four, three, two, one. Baby cobra, rise up. Drop it back to the earth. Lift your hips first, push up. Push your hips all the way back to your heels, stretch it out, and then find your downward facing dog. So yes, it's a little bit different. We're not gonna do this the whole class, so just be open to it, doing a different variation rather than your up dog. Inhale together, exhale together. Breath in through your nose, breath out through your mouth. One more breath in. Open up, let it go. Look at your hands, straight leg walk all the way to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, rise all the way up. Take a back bend. And then exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands to the mat, high plank, drop to your knees to modify. Low plank, five, four, three, two. One, baby cobra, lift up, release back to the earth, push up, lift your hips first, use your arms, heels, downward facing dog. So your arms right now, if you had done that the whole way, should be on fire. You should have gotten a lot of arm work in that series. So if you feel like you didn't, squeeze a little bit more, see if you can focus on that area for these next couple. Take a breath in and a breath out. Another, inhale through your nose and exhale through your mouth. When you're ready, look at your hands. Walk or float now to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Sweep your arms up, have a seat, Utkatasana, one breath. Inhale together, Uttanasana, exhale, fold. Bend your right knee, straighten out the left leg. Keep your right hand on the earth. Lift your left arm up, take a twist. And then switch, left knee bends, left hand down, right arm up, right leg straight, twist. And then interlace your fingers behind your lower back. Toss those arms overhead, fold forward, stretch it out, open up, rinse the shoulders. And then release your hands to the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward, high plank position. So remember, like I said, this is arm work today. If you want it, it's here for you. Lower down, five, four, three, two. Now come into your upward facing dog, full up dog, breath in. Full down dog, breath out. Inhale together. And exhale together. Step your right foot to your hands, warrior one. Step forward, rise up. So as promised, we're gonna be super light on the legs today. So if you need a good leg workout, today is not gonna be that class for you. You can join us in our squat challenge though. Sink deeper, now open up warrior two. Straighten out your leg all the way. So straightening out this right leg so both of your legs are locked. Lean forward and down for triangle pose. So right arm is down, left arm is up. Legs are locked, you're opening up your hip, you're opening up your shoulder at the same time. You're just getting in this stretch, looking up towards your left hand. And just breathe. Slowly rising up, catching your hips. Taking your right foot, let me flip around turning it towards the left so that they're parallel. So now you're in a nice deep straddle. So inhale, take a back bend, and then exhale, fold forward, dropping your hands to the earth for your straddle. So obviously it's early in the practice, but if there's an inversion that you wanna take, go ahead. 
If you want to stretch it out with me, so we're going to take our hands through our feet to start and pull ourselves down using the strength in our fingertips. Feel the stretch in the legs. And then take your right hand to the middle of your mat. Take your left hand up to the sky, twist your straddle. Look up towards your left hand. And then switching sides. Left hand down, right arm up. And then dropping both hands back to the earth, pressing yourselves all the way up to stand. We're going to move through. So take your right foot, turn it to midnight. Step your left foot up so that it's one to two feet behind the right foot. Grab opposite elbows or take reverse namaste behind your lower back. Inhale, look up, lean back. And then exhale, fold forward for intense side stretch. So notice my body does not even touch my thigh because my legs are a little bit not flexible this morning. So I'm keeping my legs straight. I don't care that I don't fold forward. I just want to get this hamstring stretch. Drop your hands to the mat if you're able. Fingertips facing the back of the mat. Drop your head, just breathe. Inhale together and exhale together. Dropping your hands back to the earth, stepping it back to your high plank. Again, you wanna work those arms. Here you go, lower, five, four, three, two. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Two breaths at the class. Inhale together. Exhale together. Breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Left foot steps to your hands. Warrior one, rise up. Not here long, so stay with me. Open up to warrior two. Nice work. Straighten out your left leg all the way. So again, legs are locked. Lean forward and down. Trikonasana, triangle pose. Look up towards that right hand. Again, right shoulder, right hip. Really open up here. You want to try to stack. Nice job, guys. Stay with me. Just breathe, inhale, one more breath. Exhale, let it go. Slowly rise up, catch your hips. Take your left foot, make it parallel with the right, take another straddle. So this time we wanna take a back bend and then exhale again, folding forward, dropping your hands down to the earth. So we're gonna take a deeper stretch here. So if you want, take your right hand to the outside of your left foot. Keep the legs straight, don't bend the knees. Lift your left arm up high to the sky, twist. And then switch, left hand outside of the right foot. Right arm up high to the sky, twist. And then drop your hands to the earth. Use them to press yourselves all the way up. Take your left foot, face it to midnight, nice work. Step your right foot up so that it's one to two feet behind. Grab opposite elbows or take reverse prayer behind your lower back. Inhale, look up, lean back. Exhale, fold forward. Intense side stretch, same thing. Keep the legs straight. Don't worry about the flexibility. It comes with time. Drop your hands to the earth. Pyramid, fingertips facing the back of the mat. Inhale together, exhale together. Hands to your mat, high plank position here. Stay with me, lower down five, four, three, two. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale together, exhale, let it go. Another breath in through your nose, breath out through your mouth. Bring your big toes to touch, lift your right leg high, bend the knee, open up your hip. If it's in your practice to flip your dog, go ahead and flip your dog. 
Taking this to your deepest variation here. Lifting up those hips, holding it for five, four, three, two, one. Come on back. Bring your big toes back to touch. Lift your left leg high. Bend your knee. Open up your hip. Flip your dog. So same thing. Then your practice to flip your dog. Go ahead and flip. Lift your hips. Find your back bend. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work. Come on back. Downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Another. Inhale together. And exhale. Let it go. Put your right hand on top of your left hand. Step your right foot up so that you're in a nice, deep runner's lunge. So we're going to do a lot here, so listen to the cues. Drop to your back knee if you need to. Make sure you walk that leg out. Now the right knee, make sure it's bent. So you don't want it to be like this. You want to be pushing it forward so that you feel the left hip flexor. So stay on your hands or come down to your forearms for lizard lunge whenever you're ready. We're going to be in these postures for a few breaths each time. I know there's a lot of tension. I know that your body's going to want to run from this, but really try to hang on. Just breathe in it. Like I said last night in my night class, we do so much physical. We work out, we lift, we do all this stuff. But we don't really ever focus on the stretch. We only like yoga if it's you know, a pure physical workout, which it still is, but right now you're just getting into these muscles, letting them heal a little bit. Just breathe. Now come up onto your hands. Take your right hand, push the right knee out. You should feel your butt stretch out. Nice little self-assist. Reach back if you want to grab that left ankle, if you want to bend that foot. And then drop both of your hands to the earth. We're gonna take the back leg and we're gonna kick stand it over to the right side of our mat. It's gonna be a different stretch, a lot deeper. So back leg kick stands to the right side of our mat. Now stay here or come back down to your forearms. And just again, allow yourself to feel the stretch in places that we're not really used to. Just breathing through it. Great job so far. Just breathe. When you're ready, coming back up to your hands, kick standing that leg back, and you're gonna take a half or a full split. So sitting all the way back onto that left heel for half split. If you wanna take a full split, you're gonna take that right leg forward, that left leg back. You can sit up nice and tall like me, just stretch it out. You can reach forward for that right foot. You can pull yourself down. There's a number of things you can do from here. So just find your own variation, see where you want to be, and then go ahead and find that. Hold that for three, for two, for one, and then when you guys are ready, coming forward, meeting me in that kneeling crescent lunge. Arms are up. So bring your hands to your heart center, shift forward and twist to your right. So across your body. I want you to try to hook the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Now press into your palm, see if you can twist and look up towards the ceiling a little bit more. Curl your back toe, lift your back knee off of the mat, full lunge here, stay here. Breathe here for three, two, 
One, now frame out your front foot. Don't go anywhere else. Frame out your front foot. Maybe you'll, you'll probably have to walk your back foot up like an inch or two. All I want you to do is straighten out your right leg here and just fold, feeling that stretch. Both of your feet are facing midnight. Feeling that in the hamstring. Breathing in for three, two, one, drop your hands, downward facing dog. Nice work. Take a breath in together. Take a breath out together. Inhale through your nose. And exhale through your mouth. One more breath in. One more breath out. Put your left hand on your right hand. Step your left foot all the way up. Drop to your back knee. Remember, take your time. We got a lot to do from here. So this left knee is bending. We're in our lizard lunge. When you guys are ready, go ahead and come all the way down to your forearms. Nice work. Just breathe here. Now when you guys are ready, press up to your hands. Take your left hand, push the inside of your left knee out. Give yourself a nice little stretch. And then remember what I said, if you want to take it further, you can reach back, grab for that right ankle, pull it in towards your butt. Drop your hands back. Kick standing the right leg over to the left side of your mat here. And then staying here, we're finding your forearms when you get there. Good job, guys. Keep opening up these hips. Your hips hold your emotions. That's where we store all of our emotions. And when we do our hip openers, it's a good practice learning to let it go. So if you feel a lot of tension, you're probably holding on to a lot of stuff. Just to breathe. When you're ready, come back up to your hands, kickstand that leg back over, half or full split. So have a seat all the way back onto that back heel. Again, reaching that left leg forward, taking any variation that is comfortable and okay with your body today. You have to learn to listen to your body. My body is super sore. If you haven't noticed, I've taken all the basic variations of every posture because that's what it needs today. So just listen, slow it down, stretch it out, breathe in, breathe out, and then slowly coming forward, finding all the way forward, taking your kneeling crescent. So rise up, nice work. Bring your hands to heart center, shift forward, twist to your left, Hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Press into the palms as much as you can to really open up and get into this twist in the lower back. Now curl the back toes, lift the back knee off the mat. Full twisting lunge. Frame out your front foot. We're gonna straight out that back leg so that both of our legs are locked here. And again, look at my toes, they're both facing midnight. I'm just allowing myself to fold. I should feel this in my left hamstring. Breathe into this tension. Breath in. One more. Drop your hands, step it back. Downward facing dog, nice work. Inhale together. And exhale together. Breath in through your nose. Breath out through your mouth. Straight leg walk all the way. 
to the front of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift, and exhale, fold forward. Inhale, tall mountain, slowly start to rise all the way up to stand. All the way up. All right, so we're gonna do one balancing pose. It's also a hip opener, so we're gonna take the stretch and we're gonna put it in. If any point during this uh, pose, you need to stop at a certain point, then stop. It's called toe stand, it's very advanced. So if you're like, I can't go any further, then don't, stay exactly where you are. So just follow my lead, that's the point, right? You wanna get to each step as far as you can. So take your right leg, grab it, bring it all the way up to your left hip. You can even take your hand, put it on something, use yourself to balance for now. So like I said, this is a work in progress, right? So your uh, right leg is up onto your left hip. All I want you to do is just lean forward and let your hands hang. So that's it. Don't even bend that left knee. That left knee should be as straight as possible. Now, if you can take it further, we're gonna take it further. You're gonna take your hands and place them on the ground. And then once your hands are on the ground, you're gonna bend the left knee and come all the way down. Like I said, very intense hip opener. Notice my arms. You want one arm to be on the outside of the left leg. You want one arm to be on the outside of the right leg. Now you wanna balance. You wanna sit up nice and tall. It's so hard to talk and bring your hands to your heart center, but I'm gonna try. So bring one hand to your heart center, maybe bringing your other hand to your heart center without falling, holding it here. And then pressing yourself all the way up, the same way you came out or came in is how you wanna come out. Come up to stand, drop that leg. You should feel that in your sciatic nerve. The same sensation that pigeon gives you is what toe stand will give you. So take your left leg, bring it all the way up. Remember, we have a dominant side and a non-dominant side. So this side for you may feel really good. This side for you may be a lot tighter. So take it slow, be patient. So remember, we have this in our hip, right? We wanna to start to fold forward, just letting our hands hang. Eventually bringing them to the earth if we're able. And then bending our right knee, coming all the way down if we can take it to a full toe stand. Sit up nice and tall. Don't look at me. I'm trying not to fall over here while I look at you guys. Teresa and Daria, you guys are throwing me off. Just kidding. All right, sit up straight. Balance here. Now, can you come out the same way you came in by pressing all the way back up and then releasing? Again, letting those hips be nice and fluid. Nice work. Find the front of your mat. Inhale your arms up nice and high. Take a back bend. And then exhale, hands to the mat, fold forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, chaturanga, high to low push up. Upward facing dog, breath in. Downward facing dog, breath out. Inhale together. Exhale together. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog. Do not let those knees touch. High plank. Low plank. Up dog. Down dog, two more, high plank, low plank, up dog, down dog, last one, high plank, low, up dog, down dog, nice work, take a breath in together, and exhale, let it go, inhale, come back to your high plank, lower down, five, four, three, two, one, come all the way down to the earth. Rest your right cheek on your mat. Bring your hands back by your sides. We're gonna set up for some back bends here. Locust and bow, take a rest, take a moment. All right, bring your chin to center. Zip your toes and heels together. Inhale, lift your whole body up, go. Lift up, lift up. So notice my chin, it's into my chest. I wanna keep my neck nice and long. Lift your chest, lift your legs, squeeze your thighs together, lift up higher, and then release, come on down. Left cheek to your mat, nice work. Just breathing. Inhale, 
Interlace your hands behind your lower back. Locust advance, Salabhasana C. Dip your toes and heels together, that's important. Bring your chin back to center, lift up. So this time you're interlacing your hands, you're pulling yourself up towards the sky. Chin in towards your chest, lift your body higher for three, two, one, release, come on down to the earth. Nice work, take a breath in, take a breath out. Reach back for your ankles, Don your Rasana. We got one of these guys, so take it and give it everything you got. Head back to center, kick into your hands, let's go, lift up. Rising up, kicking up, getting to your new edge here today. Lift for three, two, one, release, come on down, nice job. Bring your hands to your rib cage. press yourselves up to an upward facing dog when you are ready. And then exhale, push it back, downward facing dog. Inhale together and exhale together. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your right leg high, bend the knee, open up your hip. Half pigeon right side. We'll do it here while we're on our stomach. So taking this hip opener, bringing that right leg all the way forward, dropping it down to the earth. Staying on your hands or coming to your forearms if you can take it a little bit further. Remember, the flatter the better. So making sure that your whole body is just nice and flat. You wanna walk the left leg back as much as you can. You wanna to try to get that front shin parallel with the mat as much as you can. And then just be. Half pigeon, you're here for about a minute, minute and a half. Don't feel like you need to rush out of this posture. If you would like to take our posture of the month, mermaid pose, go ahead and take it now. Wherever you are, be there for three, two, one. Downward facing dog, making your way back. Take a breath in and a breath out. Bring your big toes to touch. Lift your left leg high, bend the knee, open up your hip. Half pigeon, left side. Again, the flatter the better. Just lay forward and all the way down. See if you can get to your forearms, maybe to your chest. If you would like to take mermaid pose, go ahead and take it now. If not, just stay where you are for a few more breaths. For three, two, one. Slowly come onto your left hip. Swing the right leg around. So we're having a seat on our mat here. So extend your legs out nice and long. Inhale, reach for the sky, and then exhale, reach for your feet. So don't just fold forward, right? We wanna keep a straight spine, chest up. Bend at the elbows, pull yourselves down.
When you're ready, slowly coming all the way down to your back. So we're gonna set up for some core. So coming down to your back. So bring your soles of your feet to your mat. Bring your hands behind your head. And then let's crunch up for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, lift the feet off the mat. Now your feet are in a 90 degree angle, right? Bring your knees to your uh, elbows. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Lift those shoulders. 6. Make it work. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now we want to bring our right elbow to our left knee. Tap it back. Switch. Left elbow, right knee. Tap it back. Alternating. Go. 10. Nine, eight, seven. Try not to move your knees. Try to only lift your shoulders to your knees. Three, two, one. Bicycle, go. Ten, nine. Move your body. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, knees into your chest. Give yourselves a hug. Bring your hands underneath your butt. Stay with me. Let's work. 90, 60, 30, two inches. Flutter. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 90, 60, 30, two inches. Open, close. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. 90, 60, 30, two inches, side to side, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 60, 30, two inches, bounce the ball, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 90, 60, 30, hold it two inches for five, we're coming into boat in four, three, two, one. One up, Navasana, let go of your knees. Let them go, you don't need it. We got five boats, let's bang them out. Hands to heart center, lower down, low boat. High boat, that's one, low boat. High boat, that's two, low boat. High boat, that's three, low boat. High boat, that's four, low boat. High boat, that's five. Get to your low boat, hold and squeeze for five, four, three, two, one, release, ha. Hands over head, stretch out your whole body. Super important right now to open up the abdomen, but take a nice big good morning stretch. Hands and feet reaching in opposite directions. Just breathe, nice work. We're gonna take our inversion, so go ahead and keep your feet over your head for plow pose. This is one of the best postures for your spine. So don't skip this posture. Hands are on the lower back, straighten out the legs. Let them fall behind your head. Maybe touching the floor, maybe not. Stretching and lengthening the spine here. Taking it to a shoulder stand. So taking your feet, putting them on the ceiling, creating a straight line. It's important at the end of your yoga practice to get your feet higher than your heart and your head. Now drop your ear, drop your knees to your ears for deaf yogi, right knee to your right ear, left knee to your left ear, bend your knees. And then slowly coming out one vertebrae at a time. Keep your knees into your chest, give yourselves a nice big hug. Keep your right knee in towards your chest, let your left leg go long. Take your right leg over to the left side, supine spinal twist. So go ahead and look over your right shoulder towards your right hand. Breaking up that tension in the lower back. 
Come on back to center, let your right leg go long, bring your left knee in towards your chest, give it a nice big hug, and then take it over to the right side, looking over your left shoulder, left hand planting it into the earth. Coming back to center, catching the inner arches of your feet for happy baby. So wrapping side to side here on your mat, massaging those muscles around your hips, spine, shoulders, back, mid back, high back, lower back, all of that area. And then when you've done that about eight or 10 times, finding your savasana when you're ready. So bringing your feet to the edges of your mat, Bringing your hands by your sides, palms facing up. Allowing your eyes to close, allowing your body to be at rest. It is so important at the end of your yoga practice to honor your practice in this way. If you haven't taken my class yet, I always read something at the end of my class. Just something that you can maybe take with you on your day. Let it inspire you. I read this last night and I'm gonna read the same thing. I try to, if, if I do a night class and a morning class, I might read the same thing. Cause I have a different group of people. I want them to hear it. So just resting, allowing yourself to open up your ears. Isn't it weird how you can experience situations throughout your life that are so heartbreaking or stressful that you can't imagine ever being okay again? Then a few weeks, months, or even years later, you notice that the days go by without you thinking about those times. You laugh, you smile, and you go about your day and realize that you're stronger and happier than you thought you ever could be again. Those bad times may always be in your past, but you feel at peace with your past. And the memories that come back don't punch you like they used to. You realize that you are in fact as strong as everyone was saying you were at the time, and that you would in fact get through what you went through. Isn't it amazing how much we can change, how much we can learn, and how much we can grow? So just taking a moment here. When you're ready to bring your body back to the present, just start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Roll your ankles and your wrists. Just bring awareness back into your body. 